everyone. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own first aid kit. So you could buy uh, first aid kits from any store. I have a couple that I got from Walmart. They're like about this big. Uh, they have your typical band-aids. Uh, they have uh, alcohol wipes, a hand wipe, um, gauze. Um, it's just your basic stuff. But if you wanted to make your own, kind of customize it to how you want it, um, stick around. I'm going to show you some really important things that you can include that could be very beneficial if you were to, if you were to ever, ever encounter um, someone getting hurt, yourself getting hurt. That way you have everything right there and you don't have to go searching through your cabinets or drawers or anything like that. So um, this one's going to be mainly for my home. They have a lot of different first aid kits where you can um, customize it for cars. You can customize it um, for going out on camping trips and stuff like that. So you really want to uh, know what kind of activities and stuff like that you are doing um, and what kind of risks are involved. So that way you can add things accordingly. You want to know where you are planning on keeping it because um, if it's in a car, you want to make sure it's kind of compact and it's not too bulky or big. Um, you can put them in pouches, you can put them in containers, um, anything that you want, but you want to keep them together. So here are all of my first aid kit supplies. You want to make sure you have hand sanitizer, hand wipes, that way you kind of clean off the germs that are on your hand before treating the area. Gloves are also great to prevent getting bodily fluids or blood um, on you from another person. Cotton rounds that you can use for hydrogen peroxide or isopropyl alcohol. These are both great options. You can choose one of them, um, but they're both good for minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. Um, I believe the isopropyl alcohol might sting more, so if you wanted the less burning or stinging sensation, go for the hydrogen peroxide, but they're both great options to clean the area after getting cut if you don't have access to uh, water and soap. Neosporin or anything like that, um, generic is also great. Um, antibiotic ointment that you can use to make sure that the area is um, nice and clean from bacteria and stuff like that. If you were to get a burn, you wanna make sure that you have some type of treatment for that. So either a burn gel or even a burn spray. This one I have here has 4% lidocaine in it. So it's really great for numbing the area and reducing that pain that comes with the burn. Um, and it also helps to heal the area as well. And then the spray, it's almost the same thing, except this one is, uh, it has less lidocaine in it, so you might still experience more pain. Um, so I, I really like the burn gel, so that's just me. But you can, you know, have your, you can choose your own options. But it's really great for minor burns, scrapes, skin irritations, sunburns, and things like that. And then comes the gauze pads and band aids. So you want to make sure that you have a variety of band-aids that way um, if you have like a small cut or a large cut you ha are prepared for that um, there's also infection control which has some antibacterial properties already in it and then there's like waterproof ones so it's just whatever you need for that wound and then also gauze pads which are great so before you put the band-aid on you want to make sure that you are controlling the bleeding a little bit so it's not bleeding through your band-aid so there's a whole bunch of band-aids I have here and I am ready for any situation so it's great to have that and then you also want to include some medications um, we have Tylenol on hand so this is great for pain relief um, and then also any type of antihistamine which is great in case you're experiencing um, allergies or anything like that um, from the wound or anything so here are all of my supplies so it's going to be dependent on each family so you want to make sure that you take that into account